Hello guys, I am Subham from Super Tutorials. Now from this video, we are starting with the translation. So before we start, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified when your video is out. So in this video, we will see introduction of the translation. Ka. Okay, introduction part we will be covering in this video. Translation me kya hota hai basically. What takes place in the translation is protein synthesis. Alright, protein synthesis. So, abhi tak humne kya kya dekha? Replication. Replication. Transcription. And now, translation. Right, all these three processes is known as central dogma of biology. Right, replication may DNA replicate hota hai. Okay, and DNA replicate transcription may mRNA synthesis. Right, messenger RNA and in translation, actual protein synthesis takes place. Right, actual protein synthesis abhi hogi. First of all, let's summarize. MRNA क्या होता है? एक mature MRNA, right? This is a mature MRNA. Okay. Before this, replication and transcription takes place in the nucleus. MRNA synthesis के बाद, after transcription it comes into the cytosol, okay, or we can say cytoplasm. So, translation takes place in cytosol, in prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes, okay. Eukaryotes mein processing ke baad, mRNA cytosol mein aata hai, right. Suppose this is a eukaryotic DNA, then here will be cap and here will be the ACE. Polyadenylated tail. In the case of eukaryotes, right? So, abhi pe sequence hota hai on mRNA. So, these pink lines are the sequence. Suppose I write A U G C A U G C. Again, A, U, G, C, A, U, G, C. So, this is the sequence, right? Abhi, yaha pe, jo three sequence hai. Okay, three, three, three. This is known as codons. Okay, so this three sequence, triplet, known as codons. mRNA mein, codons hote hai, right? Codons, which will code for the specific amino acid. Okay, so here comes the concept of genetic code. Genetic code. So, here are specific codes hote hai for the specific amino acids, right? Ultimately, in a protein synthesis, what we want? Amino acids are joined together. Amino acids join ऐसे होते हैं by peptide bonds, right? By peptide bonds. Okay. Suppose this first codon is coding for amino acid A, second one B, third one C, D, E, and so on. Okay, and so on. So A will combine with B by peptide bond. B with C peptide bond, okay, like this, same. So, like this protein chain will be synthesized, okay. As protein synthesis hogi, proteins banenge or folding hogi proteins ki. Got it. So, yaha pe genetic code ek factor a gaya. Uske baad mRNA to hai hi. Kya kya lagta hai protein synthesis mein, okay, ingredients basically. 
the mRNA, genetic code. Now the next thing, amino acids, कौन लेके आएगा? ERNA. ERNA, right? ERNA is specific for this codon. Okay, so tRNA is having anticodons which will bind with this codon. Okay, complementary binding. One more important, very much important factor is the ribosomes. Okay, protein synthesis ribosomes ke bina ho hi nahi sakti. Right? Ribosomes. So ribosomes mein hai RRNA. Okay, RRNA. So these are the three types of RNA basically. Okay, so mRNA, tRNA and rRNA. So all these RNAs are important in the process of protein synthesis. Got it? Now ribosomes in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes may ribosome 70 s eukaryotes may 80 s Okay, वैसे इसका RNA component भी differ होता है, right? We will see this specifically. We we will see when we uh, start with the translation in prokaryotes, translation in the eukaryotes, right? This is just an introduction video. Now, इसके बाद और क्या हमें चाहिए recipe के लिए? So next thing is the ORF. ORF. ORF means open reading frame. Open reading frame. Okay, open re reading frame. Start codon to stop codon. Right? Isam one open reading frame both there, ORF. Right? Start codon to stop codon. So, protein synthesis ka region, hai, actual region for coding amino acids. Okay, as well as more terms, polysystonic and monosystonic. Poly means many genes. Okay, many ORFs are there. Start, stop, start, stop for different genes. Okay, and in monosystonic means there is a single start codon and single stop codon. Okay, simple thing is that poly means there are multiple ORFs. Okay, in poly, there are multiple ORFs. And in monosystonic, there is single ORF. Okay, so ORF is in center. Single ORF, monosystonic, multiple polysystonic. Then polysystonic is seen in prokaryotes. Okay, polysystonic prokaryotes and monosystonic in the case of eukaryotes. So, this is the basics of uh, protein synthesis that is translation process. So, that's it for this video. From the next video, we will see one by one topic and start the translation. I hope this video helps you. If you find this video helpful, do let us know in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, guys, and stay tuned for the upcoming video videos thank you